despite me and Az being intertwined as one, you know, Az's dreams and Az's goals where he was, you know, very focused on social media and, and being himself, you know, it was always me, but like at the same time, I always wanted to jump on stage and even just give it a crack. No Muslims were harmed in the making of this video. I have nothing to say. I just like to make a lot of jokes. Should I make And the shadows of the town. What's up, Sick Cup fam? It's your boy, Say to Gary Chi. Just letting you guys know this is the first episode of Many to Come. What was supposed to be the road to WBFF is now being changed to whatever the fuck it's going to be. We're going to see where it takes us now. We're in COVID 19, shit's going down. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know if I'm even prepping for a contest that might not even happen. So things are going to get interesting. Things are going to get fun. I'm happy you guys are on my channel and I can't wait for you guys to see my life. We're in the middle of the apocalypse. And we've just gone over to get the supplies that we need for today. Honestly, I didn't feel it at all until about three, four days ago when they closed all the gyms and then I felt it furthermore the following day or the day after when my business and you know my sales started uh, dropping and declining. So I think honestly I think everyone's feeling this, you know. My plan now is just to try and maintain as much muscle mass as possible and slowly, slowly, and just progressively drop my calorie maintenance and go into a cut. Because June is about, the comp is about, if, if the comp is gonna happen, it's about nine, nine weeks away, nine, weeks away nine, nine or 10 weeks away now, so I'm gonna start a proper shred. I've only just woken up a bit late, so I'm gonna get started straight to my first Wait, first of all, show them how a bit late is. What time is it right now? I don't Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. Time now <clears throat> is 4 p.m. 4 p.m. This nigga's having breakfast. Start with eggs. Um, we're gonna go oats. One sachet. Mm -hmm. Handful of blueberries. Butter. Bacon. And wholemeal toast. Two pieces. So as you can see, like it's it's pretty clean. Mm -hmm. um, I give myself a little bit of room for a bit of fats in the in the bacon and the butter and the way I'm cooking it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm in a deficit right now and because I haven't eaten for so long. Since I got back from Brazil, I've been really hungry for the pro card, so I've just literally just locked back in uh, with my training, my dieting, um, just eliminating all stress. Um, I was recently out of a very intense relationship, which kind of put me away from my goals and, you know, deterred me from what I was after. So I had to, I had to put that aside to focus on my goals and my dreams. So right now, Despite what's going on. Is this on. another possible video for the boys out there? Um, Balancing a relationship in your um, you know, goals look, and ambitions. I'll talk about it. I'm happy to talk about it and I'll talk about anything. But the repercussions of me talking about my past relationships is going to come back and bite me nuts. Not After Brazil, I ended up um, going to India to help out my boy Jeff. He had his, uh, not expo, sorry, he had his... His first competition under his name, Jeff Side Classic, so he had that in India, in uh, Mumbai. He invited me to come down as one of the guest judges, so it was me and Jeff and um, three Indians who were judges and competitors themselves, so it was a role Do they have names? <laughs> a plus A, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> you don't know? You don't know? Ranjib, Priyam, Ranjub. Fucking Ganesh, I don't fucking know bro, they all sound the same to me. But they were great judges and they were all great at doing the jobs. We had four guys on the panel and one chick. Honestly, there was probably about 200, 250 competitors, you know, and for, for your first time competition in India, of all places, uh, it was pretty incredible. So it was quite the experience. I'm, honestly, I'm really humbled and, and happy and it's just such a crazy feeling to know where it used to be, to 
be able to say that I was actually like I've been a, a judge for a bodybuilding contest like two times in India and one time for you know Jeff's fucking um, for his own competition. So this opens up doorways in the future. You know, once I get my pro card, you know that's not to say in 10, 20 years time when I'm a fucking old cunt that I can't become a judge myself. You know, if I have a pro card and I have those ambitions, I can very well see myself doing that. Who knows? Maybe I've been on my own federation. Why do you even want a pro card? Good question. Pure ego. And to finish the legacy that this has started and start my own. Basically, I've always wanted to compete. It's something that's always wanted to do, and you know, despite me and Az being intertwined as one, you know, as his dreams and as his goals where he was, you know, very focused on the social media and, and being himself, you know, it was always me, but like at the same time. I always wanted to jump on stage and even just give it a crack and you know it went from wanting to go on stage and just give it a crack to becoming like a real real deep passion I've done about three or four comps now and each one I've been getting better and better my posting's been getting my physique the most important part of this is my physique you know of all the things like having a competition and having a date and setting yourself a date to get your body in a certain shape makes you training in overdrive you're training harder, you're dieting harder, you're, you're way more focused. And I think this is important for anyone, especially when you've been training for a few years like I have, more than a few years, over a decade, just to get that motivation back because you ain't gonna get it living day to day life. You have gotta have goals and benchmarks in mind. Now I've established my training, my comps. Oh, shit, okay, we're getting closer to the meal guys, so let's check, let me show these guys how I'm, I'm putting my food together. Mm. So, it's all about presentation, okay? I can't eat a meal if they don't look good, okay? So it has to look nice. Just like the physique, just like the hairline, just like the face. Everything has to be aesthetic, like everything, like, it's just how I am. A few of these eggs, I just put them on a piece of toast, and then I'm gonna cook my bacon. My oats are almost ready to go. And this makes it a bit bearable for me because eating, like, just eggs and boiled eggs every day, it gets kind of boring and it gets very, very bland, so you have to think of new ways to, you know, to cook your eggs, to cook your chicken breast, um, your tuna, like, you want to be eating it in different ways, and you want to you want to be giving yourself variety, or I will tell you, like, you will go, end up going crazy, like, that is very much guaranteed, so, the whole point is to make food that's creative, and, and it tastes good, and it's healthy for you, so I've used it here again, just in case you guys didn't catch it before, I've used here, whole meal bread, uh, and four eggs. Each egg has seven grams of protein, so our protein intake is 7, 14, 21. We've got 28 grams of protein, that's not even counting the bread. I'm gonna say the bread has about two grams, maybe three grams for those two pieces, so we're up to about 30 grams already. So, chuck that there. Now, we're gonna cook the bacon. What did one Muslim say to the other? Uh, he was greeting him, hello. I don't know, shoot. Our salami and bacon, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> a salami and bacon. No Muslims are harmed in the making of this video. I, have nothing to <laughs> I just like to make a lot of jokes. So don't take it personal. My best friend's Muslim. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> a salami and bacon, my brother. See, so like, you're watching me you're watching the micro potato and explode because every time I put my own in there, it overflows. Not there it goes. <laughs> That's when you know it's about overflow. Okay, we've got our oats. We've got spinach. Okay, now next step now is the blueberries in with the oats. So already you, you can see this is coming together to make a make a perfect masterpiece for breakfast. We've got the oats in there, we've got the, we've got the blueberry there, we've got the bacon there. So what I want to do is I'm being a bit autistic here, but I want to split it so every piece has bacon on it because I don't need a knife for this, but yeah. Boom, boom. It's all about the presentation, baby. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. That's looking good. See? Isn't that looking good, Max? I think Max agrees. That's looking uh, absolutely delicious right now. And now for the subs. This is the fun part. So we've got Turnable, which is like a week in the version of Dynable. The reason I'm using this is because it doesn't give you bloat and it doesn't it doesn't aromatize into estrogen, so you won't have trouble uh, getting bitch tits and gyno and all that stuff. Um, the hair, skin, and nails is very obvious. 
want to look nice, so you want to keep your hair skinny nails, especially if you're training hard, pending. Um, we got MK2866 Austrian from Aesthetic Subs. So I've been taking this during my cut nail, one capsule a day. Uh, you can find that in the link in the video, I'll have it somewhere in the description. Uh, liver detox, I'm taking two of these a day to protect my liver. And on top of that, um, I haven't shown anyone, but um, I'm taking at the moment finasteride as well for my hair loss, but that's not really my supplement stash, but I thought I'd include that in there as well because it's important. As you can see, I've got a prescription there. It's very mm -hmm. important as well, like, you know, if you're running, oh, and on top of that, I have just dosed up with um, my testosterone. So this is my stack at the moment. So I've got the low dose test um, and the aesthetic subs and then I'm taking everything else to counteract it. So as you can see, it's nothing too crazy. You have it guys, that's one meal and I can't wait to show you uh, the rest of my days over the next coming weeks, my, my lunches, my dinners, um, what I have in between. It's all exciting stuff and welcome to the channel.